Sup sup, it's Erotic Walrus back at it again as we quickly approach Zhongli's banner, it's important to mention something. Mehoyu has purposely separated Zhongli's accomplice from his banner. Yes, the girl, the legend, the white-haired waifu, Ningguang. This may have not occurred to most players yet, but the 2 Geo bonus Enduring Rock is extremely underrated. But worry not, it's about to get real spicy. Now we're back at the time again where I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe because people just forget. I know, it's okay, we all forget. You actually really do want to like and sub, but because oftentimes you are so engaged with my video, you just forget to do it afterwards, right? 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 I'm just playing guys. The support has been great recently and I really couldn't be happier. So for those who just recently joined, welcome to you all. So anyways, let's get into the video. So for my guide videos, what I realized is people are skipping the skill description part and going straight to the weapons, artifacts, and team builds. So I will shed the fat here and just gloss over the key points and move on to weapons. So for Ningguang's skill, all you need to really know is her skill does AoE geo damage and blocks projectile, just like Yasuo's Wind Wall from League of Legends. The skill stays on the field even when you change characters, so it's really useful. And at Ascension 4, characters that pass through the screen gets a 12% geo damage bonus. So if you're thinking about getting Zhongli for a double geo resonance team, Ningguang is the best choice for a second Geo character. Now, her burst skill shoots aimbot rocks at enemies, works just like how Ruin Guard missiles work. When using this burst with a Jade Screen on the field, you get extra projectiles. So finally, to maximize Ningguang, you want to stack what is called a Star Jade. You get one of these jades every time you auto attack an enemy and you can stack 3 of them. When you have stacks and use your charge attack, it consumes no stamina and the jade will deal extra damage. When you use your burst skill, these jades will also be added into the sea of projectiles you shoot at the enemies. Now I went over the skills really quickly but those are the key points you should be noting when using Ningguang efficiently. As you use her, you will find other nuances that require more micromanagement to fully min max. Moving into the weapons and artifacts for Ningguang. The thing I'd like to mention is Ningguang fills the position of a DPS, not a support. You can use her as a main DPS or support DPS, also known as second DPS. She is not meant to be an elemental support, it's just not optimal as nothing in her kit really offers support utility except for the screen jade that blocks projectiles. So with that in mind, we will be building her to be either the main or support DPS. As usual, let's start from the lower rarity and move our way up. So starting with 3 stars that I think are great options for Ningguang. So for 4 star options, we have Eye of Perception. This is a decent choice for Ningguang as you get passive attack percentage and the skill has a 50% chance to deal 240% damage, which bounces between enemies 4 times. For the next choice, Wit Sith can be a good choice for her as a support DPS with crit damage substat and a skill that benefits Ningguang regardless of what she gets. This weapon is only suited for Ningguang when you have a main DPS which you field for the majority of the time and switch to her to either cycle through cooldowns or just to get some shields. It's a powerful burst choice but lacks in sustained damage. Now finally, the best 4 star weapon for Ningguang is without a doubt the Solar Pearl. This weapon can be obtained through the battle pass and give crit rate substats and with the skill, you boost your elemental skill and burst when normal attacking and vice versa when using your skills. I would say this could easily outshine 5 star options with a few refinement levels, so if Ningguang is your main DPS, do consider picking up copies for this weapon. Now ultimately for the 5 star options, it's not a secret that Memory of Dust is best in slot for her. However, the two other 5 stars are also decent, but if you don't have them, do not sweat it as the 4 star Solar Pearl is an amazing choice. So moving on to artifacts, here is where things get a little complicated because understand that Ningguang comes together when you utilize every aspect of her kit towards the burst skill. The auto attacks generates jades, the elemental skill provides extra projectile. I think if you are running Ningguang as a missile launcher and playing just for her burst skill, the 2-piece Petra and 2-piece Oblige set is a great choice. For main carry position, you could consider 2-piece Petra and 2-piece Gladiator since she will be on the field for an extended period of time and will be dishing out more auto attacks as opposed to spamming burst skill. For those who are rocking Ningguang and hit the jackpot with her and landed Memory of Dust from the gacha, you can go for the 4-piece Retracing Bolite set. Although this does not boost her skill and burst damage, fielding Ningguang as the main DPS, you will be dishing out more normal and charge attack than you think. 
especially with stamina free charge attack mechanic. 4 piece bow light will not only give you bigger shields but also consistent damage. Artifact subset should always be attack percentage then geo percent damage into crit and then crit damage. You should always be looking to hit 50% crit minimum before even considering crit damage and trust me that's going to give you the most value. Finally for team builds let's get this out of the way first. She will be amazing in a team with Zhongli. The double geo resonance should not be underestimated. Although Pyro offers a bigger attack boost, people have completely ignored the added bonus of increased resistance to interruptions. Getting interrupted while your main DPS is cycling through damage will hurt your DPS. Geo resonance is amazing and is going to be the most versatile out of all the rest. Building a double geo team we can get Zhongli, Ningguang, Xinyan, and Bennett. So this is a steroid team. It has double geo and double pyro so you get 40% attack boost when protected by a shield. Now with retracing bolide for Zhongli and Ningguang, imagine this. With Zhongli, Ningguang, and Xinyan, you will be perma shielded. On top of this, you have a good mix of physical, geo, and pyro damage on the team with Bennett offering to be a pseudo healer and also damage booster for Zhongli, Ningguang, and Xinyan's burst skill. All in all, a stacked team that I cannot wait to try out. Another option would be Ningguang main DPS. You want a support DPS who can apply status to the enemies. Since if you do run into neutral element mobs, you will have problems getting the crystallized reaction. Someone like Xingqiu works great since you can use his elemental skill and burst to add layers of protection and extra damage, which also has wet status. So by this train of thought, Xiangling and Fischl works as well. So for a team, you could build Ningguang main DPS, Xingqiu support DPS, Noel for pseudo healer and utility, then finish with Fischl or Xiangling for elemental support. This is another well-rounded team that functions to provide extra sources of damage for Ningguang who will be spending the majority of the time on field. And with that concludes the video. I thank you all for making it to the end as I hope by shortening the skill section has made the video more digestible and informative. Of course, for a short video, I cannot cover everything, but you can always comment below for specific questions. Always remember to like and subscribe, turn on notification to get daily content uploads, join my Discord channel to make new friends. The channel has grown at a rapid rate and I cannot thank you all enough. And with that, my time here is up, but worry not there are plenty of videos on my channel for you to watch and hope that keeps you busy until we meet again tomorrow so until then stay safe and peace peace